What's happening? What's up? What happened? What's up? What happened? What's up? What happened? Man, they got it wide open. Man, you up in this mix, boy. You in this mix today, baby. Our day is Monday. You know what today Monday is, though. You know what Monday is all about, right? For people who don't know, I'm going with the intro. Do it to life. Man, it's to take what you know how to do and good at in one area of your life and then doing that, doing it to the new area of your life that you want to be good at, i.e. losing weight. You was it good in the band and take those band skills, those band practices and apply those same things to losing weight. Because when my daughter was in the band, guess what? She practiced four hours a day. Four hours a day at it. And band camp in the summer. Four hours a day. Imagine if you practice on losing weight four hours a day. Put that kind of time in and meal prepping and exercise. Oh, in the band, she exercised too. Oh yeah, they exercise. But that's what I was saying. Now, the other thing is this is Matthew chapter 7 kind of sparked this thing. Asking on Mondays is what we do. Is ask good questions to start the week out. I like to ask my questions in the middle of the night when I wake up. Whoa, I have a pee break in the middle of the night. Let me pray for you. Pray they make their destiny safe in the name of Jesus. Supernatural healing, supernatural peace. Bless the works of their hands. Oh, uh, it's an accident up here, so we are watching that. But anyway, I ask these questions in the middle of the night. And then the questions that I asked this morning, because on Matthew chapter 7, say, asking it is given, seeking you shall find, knocking the door shall be open. That was an actual acronym. It was an acronym. Now, I never saw that, so since I saw it, I figured that I had to go ahead and get with it. See what I'm saying? Since I saw it, I mean I had to get with it. Kai, stop rubbing necking. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. It's been a little small accident. Look like everybody okay. Praise Jesus. Right, so those questions that I asked this morning, those questions this morning uh, were about, hey, who how can I help my son more? Who can I talk to? Where can I get this information from for my son? You know what I'm saying? Those are the questions I was asking. I want to get over here. Because I already know what's going to happen. But those are the questions I wanted to know. You know, who do we need to talk to? Where do he need to go? Um... Who's the next person in charge? Who should I look for? The whole nine, things like that, right? So those are the kind of questions that I was asking. Those are the kind of questions that I was asking over and over again. You see what I'm saying? And that's that's what the deal was, see? That's what the deal was. <clears throat> so I asked them in the middle of the night. Why in the middle of the night? Because that's when I'm the closest to my true self. It's in the middle of the night. Because the mind is still kind of sleepy. The body hadn't woke up completely. And those two things right there normally cloud your day. Now, right now, see, everybody think wide awake. So now all my grievance get loaded back up in my head. Yeah, if you don't know about the grievance, that's on Thursdays. The four grievance. But all those get loaded up. It's like when you wake up, that computer wakes up and has to load all these programs and agreements to put on all this XX baggage and weight and stuff like that. You put it on in order to go about your day. That's why sometimes the day is, is, is kind of heavy. You know? But I made some plans last night. I asked my questions this morning and then I read my Bible, Matthew chapter 7, when I first got out of that. And you know, say you know people by their fruit, but there was another part in there too uh, that kind of stuck out to me. What was that? Oh, doing what he's doing it to it, doing what he says to my life. 
See that? The man that does what Jesus says to his life is a man that built his rock, built his house on a strong foundation, laid his foundation on a rock. Now, I remember a men's group that I went to probably, man, 20 years ago. And in that men's group, that's what Pastor talked about, you know. He said, this question was, what was the foundation? See, that was that was the deal. And the Bible said he laid the foundation. See, you always put the foundation on a rock. So a lot of times people confuse the foundation with the rock. But the foundation of the building is what everything is built upon. But since we're in the earth, we got to find a stable spot in the earth to put that foundation on. Because even though I got a great foundation, if it's not founded on a rock, like he said, you put it on sand. When the water comes, it's going to wash that sand out. Then even though your foundation holds up intact, it's going to get washed away too. The whole building going to move. You don't want that. You don't want that leaning tower of Pisa. So the foundation is his sayings. Whoever hears these sayings and putteth them to work, that foundation is laid upon the rock. See what I'm saying? That's the foundation that's here in the sands. And the rock is Jesus, of course. Everything founded on Jesus. But you got to hear those sayings. That's what your foundation is. Hearing, hearing, hearing. You got to be putting something good in every single day. And guess what? If you don't know what to put in, God hit me with one of these and say, what questions should I be asking? That's one of the questions I had last night. That's a good question. That's a good question. I need to put that on the refrigerator. Cause we building some powerful questions on that. That should be one refrigerator. What questions should you be asking? That's a good question. If you don't know what question to ask, ask what question should I be asking? Because the guy always said, you know, powerful. You want powerful answers? Then you gotta have powerful questions. And you can always tell a level of somebody's. Uh, knowledge is by not their answers it's by their questions you know because you can keep asking questions and then they get it then even if they don't know the answer to a question that you ask doesn't mean they you still don't know where they at but we say hey look what question has been bothering you then you know exactly where they did in so I always ask them, you know, say, hey, ask me a question on something that's been bothering you. Let's see if we can get the answer to it. That's what I'm going to do with my son tonight. I need to know exactly what level he's on. I need to ask more questions. Yeah, I need to ask more questions. I need to ask him to ask more questions. I'm trying to get him in the question mode. Everybody got to get back into the question mode. And that's what this whole day gonna be about asking questions because now at this point with my go for knowing Fridays I'm getting to the point where I'm not not truly attached to the results of the answers you know it's just an answer it's just a result and by detaching myself it enables me to not have my happiness attached to that. I know a guy was saying that the other day. He was saying your your happiness should not be attached to a thing, a person, place, a thing, or a time. When this come, I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy now. See what I'm saying? We happy now. Don't look happy. <laughs> yeah, can't be that happiness. Supposed to be raining all day. I, I'm glad I'm looking forward to it. I like the rain. Why? Because I got some plan for the rain. Then when the sun come out, oh, it's hot. Man, I like it hot. Because I got some plan for when it's hot and when it's not. When it's Christmas, when it's not Christmas. When it's summer, when it's not summer. You always just have some plan. It come from yesterday, planning on Sundays. 
So we got a few other things I need to be going putting together that I want to go ahead and complete today. Is go ahead and open up that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take part of that time block. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll open that thing up. Open my Wix account up so I can start putting some of this in intelligence on there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Another thing that uh that they was talking about in there is. And that's the part, right? Because he was saying, don't judge. I understand that. But he's saying, I can understand. I guess it's to a certain extent. Don't try to get the speck out of your brother eye when you got a plank in your own eye. First, get the plank out of your own eye. And then you'll see clearly get the speck out of your brother's eye. There may be in a certain area because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this plank out in my lifetime. So does that mean I don't help the other person with the spec? Huh? Does it? That's a good question. Does it? I don't think it means that. I mean, Jesus didn't have no plank, so he can go around and, and help folks. Hmm, that's a good question. What all that really, 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 really mean? Yeah, I'm in the thick of things now. I'm a little bit early. I said I was gonna start getting to work a little bit earlier. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm getting to work earlier today. We're going to put some things in effect. We're going to do it to it all day long. We're going to do it to my work life all day long. And when I come home, I'm going to do it to my home life. I need to get back on doing it to my exercise life too. But I had this been not me. I need to do it to my sleep life. I ain't been getting the kind of sleep that I need to get. See what I'm saying? I had not been getting it. Like I said, it's been tumultuous. Need to dig, get back started on my on my on my work my work center down there. I'm almost through with this. When I finish this tile backsplash, then I'm gonna be happy. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna be happy then. It's gonna be something else to do. Well, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and listen to the one thing podcast before I hit this highway because I gotta recap that tomorrow. One thing. I hope you're listening to that. But anyway, I'm going to be reading my Bible the rest of the day, but I'm going to listen to this podcast right now. So you know what I'm going to do. You know what you need to do. Do it to that like. Do it to that thumbs up. Do it to that share. Do it to your like. Do it to it. Hold on. Let me go with this bump right here. Then I can sign out. Hold on. Wait a minute. I see what you're doing. See what you're doing, my friend? Yeah, wait a minute. Man. All right. We almost there. Praise Jesus. There we go. Do it to it.